Well, uh, eventually we have to get a vaccine and a cure. Um, and back in the day when uh, I was doing part of a movement pushing the U.S. government uh, to do anything about AIDS, including starting uh, to spend money on research, um, we, I, I never thought I would live to see the day where there might be a cure or a vaccine. But now uh, that I'm on effective antiretrovirals and I probably have a good uh, 20 or 30 years left in me, um, I think I'm going to live to see a cure. The, the cure research going on right now is very exciting. Uh, it kind of took off after uh, the Berlin patient, uh, the first person to be cured of AIDS. That was became a proof of concept. and. Uh, the research establishment geared up after that, trying to figure out ways to replicate it. Um, and hopefully, uh, we might find the answer in the vaccine area, where a vaccine that helps prevent HIV infections can also be used in people with HIV uh, to, con to let their own immune systems control the virus in, the, in their body, and they won't, won't have to take treatments anymore. So um, that's my hope. and. Uh, a, there's a lot of good minds out there that think somewhere between 5 and 15 years from now, in that range, uh, we could well see a cure and a vaccine. Um, there's a nice bipartisan consensus still in the U.S. to keep funding AIDS research. We spend about $3 billion uh, within the NIH doing it. Um, we need to refocus some of that money to really focus on cure research. Uh, and that's what I'm working on now as an activist in the States. Um, but I'm hopeful. Um, the research is exciting, and, um, and I hope to one day be cured. Yes, I mean, Germany has, a, a, you know, overall a remarkable success record uh, fighting HIV-AIDS. Its, its incidence rate is one of the lowest in Europe's. Um, and uh, it, it has one of the highest proportions in the world of people who are HIV positive, who are on treatment and are undetectable and healthy. Um, so there's a lot uh, that the world can learn from Germany's example. Uh, plus, very importantly, the government was always willing to do needle exchange programs to prevent the spread of HIV. Um, but I think Germany is in a unique opportunity uh, with its low infection rate. About 3,000 Germans become HIV positive every year. While that might be a very small percentage of the total population, it presents an opportunity. Uh, it's a low rate, so you, you could get it conceivably down to something closer to zero. Um, I know there's a, a plan in Germany to uh, lower the number of people with HIV uh, that progress to AIDS down to zero, uh, you know, offering better health care. Um, that's a great plan. Uh, I think they should tackle the prevention side as well and really look at setting an example for the world at stopping the spread of the virus.